I'm Valerie Paley, historian for special projects at the New York Historical Society. What we're trying to do in the Robert H. and Clarice Smith New York Gallery of American History is recontextualize that history, that dusty history that you think you know. What we've done is we've started with busts of founding fathers, some of whom were founders of the New York Historical Society, and tried to enliven them. In the 19th century, when these busts were created, they were meant to be placed at the highest point in a room, peering down on the civilization below them. We're bringing them down a notch or two and putting them within the context in which they lived. These are not just men in togas. These were living, breathing people that, that experienced a time and a place that we're trying to make come alive for the visitor. So in a visual nod to the 19th century salon-style chock-a-block installations, what we're doing is reinterpreting this in a modern context, placing the bus amidst the paintings and the objects and the materials of the period. New York Rising makes great use of technology to enable a visitor to learn more about the historical narrative that we convey on the wall and learn about and explore the connections between people, places, and events. We're also using technology to accomplish our second goal, which is to show the visitor the breadth and depth of the collections of the New York Historical Society in long, narrow screens that are affixed to six columns. We will display details from our collections. On the other side of these columns are six interactive kiosks in an installation we call New York and the American Experience. It enables us to show large themes in New York history that intersect with American history, and which also enable us to extend our timeline backwards and forwards to the Dutch days right up to the present day.